Hello everyone, uh, this is Kanu Bhutani here and today we will be seeing how a business analyst uh, does the analysis of a process that he gets and uh, then how he creates the documents, uh, the as-is document, the to-be document and SDD document. So I've taken a very simple example of a loan application process in banking domain so for example if this is the process that we are getting that we have to make the a business analyst needs to analyze it and create the documents so i would go like this so uh, uh, since this is a loan application process in banking domain so there are different uh, processes in banking domains like loan processing process account closer process kyc process anti-money laundering process and many other processes are there so today we will see into loan processing process now there are following steps which are done for any loan processing that comes into a bank so first is pre-qualification process then comes loan application form filling then application form processing underwriting process credit decision quality check and loan funding but also apart from all this today we will see the pre-qualification process so this is what is done in the in the detail uh, in pre-qualification process is that at this stage the potential borrower who is there will receive a list of items from the bank and uh, he has to submit those documents those can be id proof address proof the current employment information salary slip his credit score and bank statements and previous loan uh, statements all that and once he submits those documents, then the lending company or the bank will review it and pre-approve the loan. So either during this review, it will either reject or pre-approve the loan. So this is what I have got as a BA. Now, after looking through all this, I will be creating a as is document as is means what is the flow that is going on in the uh, company now so that way I will create start send the list of documents to the loan borrower so the bank will send the list of documents then the borrower will get his id proof the aadhar card the pan card or any voter card then the salary slip his employment proof the credit score if he's having the bank statements and in case if he's having any previous loans those statements and once he furnishes all this, the documents will be checked and submitted by the uh, submitted by the borrower and it will be checked by the bank. And once the documents are okay, if no, then it will reject the loan and it will send the mail to the customer. And if that is okay, then they will send the mail to the pre-approval process that you can proceed ahead and that will end the pre-qualification process so out of this as is now if i want to make an rpa the robotic process uh, uh, analysis rpa of this the if i want to make a robotic process then i will be creating a to be process in which I will mention that which all processes can be automated in this. So I have marked those auto, uh, the processes that can be automated with black uh, uh, brown uh, boxes with white uh, 
writing so here you can see that send the list of documents to the loan borrower this can be automated and automatically the bank can send the mail that send this list but these can't be automated because the uh, user needs to submit these and this credit score of course you uh, a bank can get it automatically from the credit score department then these two also documents to be submitted but once when the documents are submitted it can be checked automatically and then if the documents are okay this is a manual process where a person will say okay or not and if he uh, clicks reject then automatically the mail will go to the customer and if he selects accept then the mail will go to the pre-approval process department to pre-approve the process and it will end then we see so then we will look into the brd business requirements document in which the table of contents would be introduction the project scope the business requirements the customer information assumption risk out of scope and review comments and sign off so the first one is purpose in which we will write this document is what purpose so we would say that it is uh, defining the pre-qualification process and then we'll give here the business overview in which we'll say that okay this process will actually get the documents from the user and the bank will process the documents and if they are okay then they will go for pre-approval process but if it is not okay then uh, it will reject and send the mail to the user then it will be the project scope we'll write the project scope that what all things will be in scope and what all things will not be in scope the way i showed you what all things which are there in manual so uh, once uh, the robotic process begins the there are some steps which will be manual and what are the t-shirt sizing so in t-shirt sizing you will find the parameters number of applications how many number of applications are there how many number of screens are there number of uh, description points are there number of decision points is there and based on all these different different things we will come up with the t-shirt size uh, it can be large extra large or small or medium once we decide this then customer information what are the responsibilities of the customer we can note it down and then uh, the customer applications in scope in case if there is any other third party uh, applications we are using we have to decide and describe them here okay then comes the business requirements over here you have to mention all the business requirements one after another and uh, the details of it like you are logging into the screen and then you are going into another screen and then what are their functional requirements so you have to note it down here so this way it will create the step by step uh, the process and in that you can just put what will be the automation process and what will what all will be the manual processes done by the uh, banking professionals who uh, will be uh, approving it or rejecting it so everything that details will come here then high level process flow in high level process flow the thing will come the your as is diagram and the to be diagram you have to just take the screenshot of the same and it will come here in high level process flow in business requirement details again here step by step you are logging into the portal but here the screenshot also will come of each and every uh, screen in which you are logging in and then uh, uh, getting into the application uh, process application uh, form download screen so that way you will be putting all the screens also and marking it with the highlighter uh, uh, to exactly what 
and which places to be clicked and uh, then move ahead so all this is to be written in this the assumptions these are very important wherever you find very small thing also that you want to assume say you want to assume that the site will be down then what will happen so all those assumptions will come here these are very helpful when you actually uh, show it to the customer and customer should not come back with some of the things which are not in our hand and uh, we uh, have to be dependent on that so all those will come in assumptions and followed by assumptions there are risks of course you have to put each and every small risk that you feel that will hamper your uh, flow or the automation flow so those risks will come here then what all things are out of scope each and everything uh, the functionality which is not documented in the frd or the brd will be considered as the out of scope apart from this you can put whatever you feel that it is out of scope now the best uh, why why these are considered uh, necessary to be put in brd the assumptions risks and out of scope is that uh, we really get help from these once we start delivering our project uh, during the production phase or the UAT phase. Finally comes the review comments. Once you complete this BRD document, then you send it to the manager, to your manager, and your manager will review it and he they will put the comments over here then you have to again come here see what are the comments and then you have to change accordingly or update your brd accordingly and finally sign off once everything is done there are no comments there uh, it's everything you have updated properly then the time is to get the sign off of for brd from it project manager business leader and business user and this sign off is very important because next time uh, while we proceed with the document it uh, the, everything should be freezed so they should not come again back saying this is not updated or this is not the uh, thing that we were expecting so once the sign off is done then the we are completed with the brd process and the work of a BA gets over here by once he hands over this BRD document to the implementation team. And uh, once when the implementation team starts working on this, then they can get back to me, get back to a business analyst and ask the queries that they have. And finally, when there is a UAT phase and UAT is going on, that time uh, is another important time when uh, a business analyst has to get in and understand and see that all the functional points are tested correctly are done correctly so that's it from the business analyst point of view that uh, we look into this and uh, try to get the uh, details and put it in, in the as is the 2b and the brd document you know brd is sometimes called as sdd so uh, they are all interchangeable words uh, so uh, this this has uh, the things that are to be noted down and said to the implementation team and this is the way a business analyst works with the client team, the implementation team, and his own team, the assessment team. And uh, working with the cross teams, we finally come up with this solution. So I hope this was a very informative session for you. And uh, uh, you will certainly uh, get good information out of this. So thank you very much. And... Uh, We'll see you in next video. Bye-bye.